I'm Anil Kumar and here is a very popular question from previous test paper. We'll find probability of uh, defects. The question here is, a quality control inspector selects a sample of three fuses at random from a box of 20. If the box contains exactly five defective fuses, calculate the probability that the sample will contain no defective fuses and part B is that the sample will contain two defective fuses. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestion. Now in this case, we are selecting three fuses out of 20, and if we want all to be not defective, we know defective pieces are five, right? So what we know here is that uh, the sample space is, is 20, right? As far as the defective pieces are concerned, let me write that as ND, defective pieces are 5. Now good pieces for us are 20 minus 5, which is 15. Now what we are doing here is, we are saying we have to select no defective fuses. That means the selection is being done from these 15, right? And you are selecting 3. So it could be written as 15C3. It's a combination. The order does not really matter. And as far as the total is concerned, it will be out of 20. So out of 20, it is 20C3, right? So that becomes the probability of selecting no defective fuse, right? So that is, we can use the calculator and find the answer. So it is 15 shift combination 3 divided by 20 combination 3 is equal to 91 over 228 or in decimals we could write this answer as equal to 0 0.3991 right so like this we could calculate probability that the sample contains no defective piece right so all good in this case right in the second case we are trying to find two defective fuses, right? So when we say two defective fuses, then out of three selected, two are defective, right? So these two have been selected from these five, correct? So it'll be five choose two defective pieces. We have selected two. We are left with one more, right? So we have to select one more. And this one is a good piece. So it comes from the group of 15, correct? And still, the total number in our sample space remains same, which is 20C3, correct? So that is how we'll choose, right? So we'll choose two from defective, one from good to make it all three. And that becomes the answer. So the solution will be 5C2 times 15C1. Use calculator. That is what I prefer you to do. Uh, and then you can divide this by 20 uh, C3 and that gives you 5 over 38 and in decimals it could be written as equal to 0 0.1315 you can round it to 8 right so that is the probability of choosing two defective fuses when you select three of getting two defective pieces, right? So I hope that helps. So the concept of selecting defective or good pieces is very simple. You can see from here, break it down to number of pieces which are defective, the number of pieces which are good, and then use combination to find the answer, right? I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best. Let me also give you a general formula for NCR, which you could do as n factorial divided by r factorial times n minus r factorial, right? So those of you who do not have calculator which can calculate combinations directly, you can use the formula and then calculate. I hope that helps. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.